<laughs> the best prenite I have ever cut open in my life. Let's. Oh! <laughs> in this bucket right here is a bunch of bags. And in these bags are a bunch of Australian gems. So we have Agate Creek Agates, Wave Hill Agates, and as the bag says, Gem Quality Wave Hill Prenite. And as you can tell from all the gear I have on, today we're cutting all of that open. I've never cut Prenite that looks this nice with such great potential. Hopefully it's super green inside. But I want to cut some Wave Hill Agates because I have never ever cut wave hill agates from australia so we'll cut this and see what's going on inside <laughs> oh it's made a sticker being a stinker is trying to open up on me i just didn't want to see it without seeing it with you first <laughs> that's Primarily quartz on that guy, <laughs> but down here got a really really great little pocket. You know what? We'll have to cut another Another wave hill agate to see well this one I looked at this one earlier This one doesn't look like it shows that much promise. We'll still cut it But we'll cut this guy to see what's going on inside there. Maybe there'll be some more bands in that one That one felt like a more of an agate cut compared to the last one, which is more quartzy. Oh, oh my gosh, that is absolutely wild. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. It's really like a paint agate, it's really painty. You know, it's definitely more opaque and some people would say opaque is chert, but it's banded and church just isn't like this, you know? So that's pretty crazy. Really beautiful husk on these too. The the Wave Hill agate that I am most excited to cut, which I'm gonna be saving for later, is this guy right here. And I'm not gonna be going for a giant surface cut, but I'm gonna cut through this area somewhere over here. Like get a big long cut because we've got these bands right here and I'm hoping they run through so we'll see about that one. I'm gonna save that one for later. Let's cut this guy. I'll, I'll just do it super quick just to see what's going on inside that. The wetter this thing got, the more beautiful it ended up looking. So I, I'm really hoping that there's some stuff inside. Oh my gosh, the white areas. Holy moly, that's pretty. What did I say a second ago? I don't have high hopes for this. What do I know? I don't know anything. <laughs> that is so beautiful. So we will now cut open some Agate Creek agates. All of these agates were sent to me a while ago from my man Dan. And oh gosh, I don't know if I can cut that. That's so pretty. But he sent all these agates over to me a while ago. Oh, for sure gonna cut that. So I'm so pumped to be able to cut these, finally. Thank you, Dan, so much for sending these over for us. Let's, gosh, I don't think I can do this. I'll contemplate this one if I'm gonna do anything with it, but we'll see. But we'll cut some of these ones first. We got all four of those cut. I did sneak a peek at this one, cause <laughs> I mean, you already know what's gonna be on the inside. <laughs> That's so pretty though. It's got this crazy hole in it that runs from there to there. You can actually see the light. That's so cool. 
That's so pretty. Such beautiful bands. Agate Creek Agates just remind me of little pieces of candy. They're so pretty. This one right here, a little piece of it cracked off. I haven't looked at the inside at its full glory, but oh, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. It's almost like cloudy bands. You know, it's not so like in your face like the last one, but geez, that is so pretty. Little pieces of candy. Funky long dodge. <laughs> Let's do it this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, those darn sur surface fractures in there. It's got some great bands in there. That'd be a fun one to polish. The uh, It's not the last one, but this one, as I was cutting it, it fractured on me. And it just broke up on me in like three spots. So one half of it. And as you can tell, <laughs> I can see it now. Even on this side, it's got these huge natural fractures in there. Would have been a really sweet one. This one probably wouldn't even be worth polishing because that fracture is just going to run all the way through there. I'm going to take this giant chunk of prenite and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. We'll cut it right through here just to see what's going on on the inside. I, I'm really excited about that. So let's do that right now. So I haven't peeked at it yet. I'm kind of getting a glimpse right there. <laughs> I'm really excited to see inside it. And as I was cutting that, I was kind of like, you know, this is a really, from what the bag said, what Dan said, this is a gem quality piece of prenite. And I bet there's gonna be some people out there that are like, how dare you cut this giant gem quality prenite. And for me, I if it's beautiful inside, what I'd like to do is take slabs out of it and make cabochons. So we're making jewelry with this gem quality stuff. So don't think I'm like destroying this thing or anything like that. I mean, somebody's gonna say something regardless, but um, just thought I'd give you a little insight to why I wanted to cut it to see inside. Cause I wanna make, you know, cabs for silversmiths and stuff like that. So let's peek at this. And um, this is from this little piece right here that is showing, this does look like the best prenite I have ever cut open in my life, so let's. <laughs> oh my gosh! The camera doesn't even do this justice. You've got to be kidding me. Insane. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, oh golly, part of me now just wants to polish the faces on that and just have it as like a check this out kind of piece. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, wow. Well, I'm gonna ponder, I'm not gonna slab it just yet. You know, I'm gonna ponder on what to do with this over some time, so. Anyways, let's cut. <laughs> that was wild. Bam, it's so green. Um, <laughs> let's cut these last three um, agate creek agates and then we'll hit the big bad wave hill agate. This is sweet, I love the husk on that. Yeah, that guy took about three minutes to cut. I kind of know what's going to be on the inside. But a nice, clean... Oh, that darn fracture. What a stinker. What a beautiful agate, though. Beautiful, beautiful water level bands on the inside. Love that. This is our next victim right here. Probably gonna be, gosh, I don't know. It's so milky. I don't see anything going kind of this way. So I wonder if there's anything going that way. So I'm gonna cut it right through here. We'll see. So out of all of these so far, I think this is the one I'm the most nervous about, like with my placement of the cut and I just, 
I didn't want to cut this way and like go run with the clearness. So that was kind of the thought process, but I don't know. I feel like I might've made a mistake with that cut. As I was cutting it, I'm like, I don't know about this one, man. So we'll see, we'll see. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That was an octave, wow. <laughs> I think I made the right call. Like I was talking about, I didn't want to catch it like through that. Oh, oh boy, did he make the right call? Got some like fragmented agate details in here. Water level bands. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Wow. Like around the edges as well, like. And here, look at those details. Good gosh. I like this, kind of like this mossy area up here. It's still so pretty. Man. I feel really lucky on that one. I feel very, very lucky on that one. Like, my gut just said, don't run with that, right? So, I don't know. Maybe I should, should trust my gut a little bit more, huh? Not a bad cut. <laughs> this is my favorite Aga Creek one so far. This is absolutely phenomenal. Well, I saved the funkiest Aga Creek one for last. It's got things falling out of this cavity right here. Whoa! I was taking it so slow, so it would fracture out like that. What a stinker. Look at this. I knew, well, I was so nervous too, because I'm like, this thing is kind of, it looks like it's a rough piece. But at least it fractured on this side with this nasty hole and not this side. So let's at least check it out. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got amazing right in here, here, here. Parallax banding. Check this out. So much depth in there. Parallax banding. Shadow banding. There's black staining in there too. That's wild. Gosh, what a weird piece. Weird. So beautiful though. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. We have one more to cut. We're gonna cut this guy right here. Looks like there's some fractures in it. So we're gonna take it even slower <laughs> than we already do. Uh, for you, it won't be slow, just for me. I'm anticipating this one taking about four minutes. So we'll see you when it's all said and done. What a stinker. Right at the end, it was going so well. Well, there's definitely quartz in there. Gosh. Oh, man. It's fine. It is what it is. We knew there was fractures in there. At least it didn't <laughs> fracture off like that or anything. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm so happy. This is my favorite. Saving the best for last. <laughs> oh, look at those details. Oh my goodness. Like right here. Wow, 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 wow. Like this little tornado coming through there like that. This little wave. Gosh. You know, I comment on quartz a little bit. Some people don't like the quartz in there. I think sometimes it complements it, complements it perfectly. And I think in this piece, it looks so great. I mean, it would ideally, these bands running all the way up into here would be perfect, but I think it, 
I think it just complements it really, really well. What a phenomenal agate. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that natural fracture right there. We're lucky that this side didn't break off as well, like that. Man, that was close, huh? What a beautiful piece. So pretty. So, so pretty. <laughs> that is unbelievable. So cool. So my favorite, favorite cuts of the day. This one right here, for sure. And then that beautiful, <laughs> that beautiful, beautiful printite. How amazing. Dan, my man, thank you so much for sending all of these beauties over to us. What a treat. Oh my gosh. I hope you all enjoy this. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It was so much fun. Oh, so cool. What a great way to end it. Thank you all so much for joining me on this fun lapidary adventure. The saw I was using, um, if you're interested, it's a high-tech diamond tennis saw with a thin center blade. All the details are linked below. Again, thank you all for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.